So now we are going to talk about the upper layers of the OSI model. So there are three layers that contributes to the upper layer of the OSI model and those are the application layer, the presentation layer and the session layer. So we are going from top to down. So application was the seventh layer that was on the top, the presentation layer below that and the session layer below the presentation one. So we have these three layers that are known as the upper layers. So let's see what each of them are. The application layer or the layer seven handles all the protocols and services that are used by the applications on the internet or any network. Everything from HTTP sessions to DHCP and DNS services are handled by this layer. In simple terms, this layer interacts with the software applications that you are using or that any computer is using and make them work properly. All the communication that is happening using the applications is handled by this layer and thus it is named so. So everything that your application needs, this is provided by the application layer or the layer 7. The next one we have the presentation layer. The layer beneath the application layer is the presentation layer or the layer 6. This layer converts the data format that is used by the applications. So the applications you are using for example an application Facebook. So Facebook might be using its own language and that cannot be understood by the computer. So the role of presentation layer that is below the application layer is to make sure that the language which the Facebook is using is to be converted into a language that the computer can understand. So in simple terms, this layer translates the syntax or the language that is used by the application layer to the one that the layers beneath that can understand or the computer can understand. So converting from a language that Facebook understands to a language that a computer understands is the work of presentation layer. For example, let's say that the application layer is talking in the language X. So let's say that the Facebook is talking in a language X, which is understood only by the Facebook as well as the user. Since the computer understands another language that is Y, which is not the Facebook's language, so the presentation layer converts the language X to the language Y so that the language Y can be understood by the computer. So this layer translates the data format used by the application to a data format that is used by the computer. So this is the work of the presentation layer or the layer 6. The next layer we have is the session layer. The session layer or the layer 5 is used for making a link that is known as a channel between the two communicating devices. So the main role of this is that it establishes a session or a connection between two communicating devices. Since before sending the messages, a communication channel or a link is necessary and that is obvious because if you need to transfer something, you need a medium for that. So the role of this layer is to make sure that there exists a channel between the two communicating devices. So when the nodes are ready to transfer data to each other, this layer opens a session or a channel so that the communication can start. When the communication is actually happening, everything is managed by this session layer. And when the communication ends, it also terminates the session or the channel once the messages are being delivered and nothing else is to be exchanged. So the role of session layer is easy. It makes a session so that the messages can flow through it. It maintains that channel and once the communication ends, it terminates the channel or the session. That is the working of session layer. So these are the top layers of the OSI model. Those are the application layer, the presentation layer and the session layer. Now you need to remember what are the numbers of these layers because it gets very confusing. So application is layer 7, presentation is layer 6 and session is layer 5. So we are going from 7 to 1.